This truck is so durable, they set it on fire, sank it in the ocean, crashed it into a tree, and even dropped it off a skyscraper, but it still kept going. Good trucks don't just come with powerful engines, they're also reliable. You want a truck that keeps going without any problems. These are some trucks that rarely break down and can reliably run thousands of miles. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Truck and Roll for more content like this. Starting our list, it's the Ford Super Duty Trucks. These pickups, powered by their reliable 7.3 liters power stroke diesel engines, have earned a legendary status for their reliability. Produced from 1994 to 2003, these trucks are known for their robustness and a good balance of performance and durability. While they have some drawbacks like front suspension design issues and engine noise, they are still considered road warriors from the early 2000s. Repairing these old Fords can be a hassle, mainly because of their massive V8 engine, co-developed with Navistar. Accessing parts like fuel injectors often requires removing the entire cab is a time-consuming process, to say the least. But even with those issues, it's hard to beat these Super Duty trucks when it comes to sheer reliability and longevity. So it's no surprise why Ford's F-Series pickups have managed to remain best sellers over the years. That said, there are a couple of other options you can go for, too like the Nissan D21. Hardbody is one pickup that enthusiasts always have a sweet spot for. In fact, it's one of the few trucks that can really give the F-Series pickups a run for their money. Datsun, which later became Nissan, has been making trucks since 1934, so it's no surprise that they've learned a thing or two over their many years in the business. In fact, by the time they introduced the D21 series trucks, they had perfected the formula. This pickup was sold under various names worldwide, like in Australia, it was known as the Navara. But despite the naming differences, the amazing design and reliability stayed consistent with every model. The D21's double wall bed construction and rugged design made the hard body nickname stick. It was made to directly challenge the Hilux, and since Nissan's offering was just as reliable and capable, the truck managed to do well. So, if you're after a truck, Truck that matches Toyota's quality but at a more budget-friendly price, the D21 might be worth considering. There's another pickup that we've just got to mention on this list. And that's the Dodge Ram with the 5.9 liters Cummins engine. From 1989 to 2007, the Dodge Ram with the 5.9 liters Cummins engine was an absolute powerhouse. People loved it because it had a reliable and consistent engine. Its inline six design brings a natural balance, reducing wear on engine parts and minimizing cabin vibration. It's no wonder Ram owners seem so passionate about it. The 12 valve Cummins in particular is renowned for its tunability, but the later high output 24 valve version is also a solid choice. Dodge trucks have their own unique style and attitude. While they might not always offer the smoothest ride among the big three, their steering feel and on-road performance are consistently top-notch. No truck is perfect, but if you're looking for one that can easily clock over 1 million miles, the common powered Ram might just come out on top. Sure, Chrysler's interior build quality and older transmissions might pose some challenges, but where the Cummins engine truly shines is in its ease of maintenance. Access is a mechanic's best friend, and compared to Fords and Chevys, Dodge trucks make repairs a breeze. A special mention goes to the 2020 Ram 3500 HD, which was the first production truck to boast 1,000 foot-pounds of torque from the factory, and even won Motor Trend's Truck of the Year award. Plus, the HD model comes with a sturdy engine and transmission setup, addressing some of the past issues with Chrysler gearboxes. Speaking of reliable pickups, this next one deserves a mention. We're talking about the Mitsubishi Mighty Max. When it comes to building tough, reliable machinery, Mitsubishi knows its stuff. They've been experts in everything from electronics to massive box trucks that haul your heavy gear. So, when Mitsubishi decided to step into the ring with other Japanese trucks, they brought some serious firepower. The Mighty Max and its Dodge Dakota spin-off aren't always people's first picks, but don't underestimate them. They're often more budget-friendly compared to others on the market, yet they're just as reliable. And this is also true for this next pickup. It's the Honda Ridgeline. Now, it might not be your first thought when you think about a rugged off-road pickup truck. After all, it's not that steel-clad, body-on-frame beast like some others out there. But you know what? It's surprisingly reliable. Truth be told, the Ridgeline won't be winning any towing contests or handle hardcore off-roading without any hiccups. But if you're looking for a well-made, comfy, and dependable ride that can handle some light truck duties, the Ridgeline is a solid choice. Now, the first-gen models had a few issues with their transmissions, but the newer ones seem to be rock-solid. With the truck market becoming very diverse nowadays, not everyone's looking for a power 
powerhouse that can tow tons of things. Most people seem fairly happy with mid-sized options like the Ridgeline, which offers a lot of reliability, even if it comes at the cost of some towing capabilities. If that's a compromise you're fine with making, then definitely don't overlook Honda's Ridgeline. And the same can be said for this next pickup, and that's the Isuzu D-MAX. Now, while people over in the US might not be too well aware of what the Isuzu D-MAX is capable of, there's no denying this truck packs quite the punch. Some enthusiasts even consider it an absolute gem when it comes to reliability and toughness. But just why is that? Well, like I said, while this pickup isn't available in the US, it's earned a solid reputation worldwide, especially in places where roads are more like adventures than smooth asphalt. In such areas, off-road capability and rock-solid reliability are top priorities, and so, the D-MAX reigns supreme. This is largely because Isuzu is a company that really knows its engines. They've been crafting them since 1916, with a history that includes industrial diesels dating back to 1952. The company's engines power everything from construction gear to semi-trucks, buses, and even marine vessels. So it's not shocking to see them being so good at making these things. The little D-Max is the result of over half a century of building some of the toughest equipment out there. So, if you're anywhere in the world outside of the Americas, the D-Max is definitely a truck you should certainly consider, and this is also true for this next pickup. It's the Ford Ranger. The Ford Ranger is a sturdy little truck. Historically, Ford hasn't had the best reputation for reliability, but things started to turn around with the third generation of the Ranger. Originally, the Ranger was just a trim level of Ford's larger F-Series pickups, but when it became its own compact model, it faced tough competition from trucks like the S10 and Japanese models. But by the time the third generation rolled around in 1998, things had changed. The Ranger was now entirely designed by Mazda. It became known as an affordable, reliable, and capable little pickup. Suddenly, it stood out as a solid choice in its class. Nowadays, it has successfully carved out its niche among people who prefer compact models that can still reliably dish out thousands upon thousands of miles. Still, there's one other truck that can match the Ranger in terms of sheer reliability and that's the Toyota Hilux. The Hilux is like the undisputed champ of durability. It's practically the diesel kingpin of the compact truck world. This truck is a global sensation for a reason, and that reason just happens to be how reliable it is. It's not uncommon for these trucks to rack up well over 1 million miles without a lot of hiccups. Now, while it might not have the fanciest gadgets or features, the Hilux more than makes up for it with its practicality. It's no frills, minimalistic, and built to work. Driving one feels like you're commanding a mini tank, just super solid and seemingly unbreakable. And here's a bit of fun history about this pickup. Clarkson, Hammond, and May from Top Gear tried everything to destroy one, setting it on fire, sinking it in the ocean, smashing it into a tree, and dropping it off a skyscraper. All of that sounds downright impossible for a truck like this to survive, but guess what? Somehow, the Hilux was able to get past all that and still keep going. Now, if you want to check out some more content on trucks, make sure to click on this next video.